Hey Rod here, thanks for joining me. It's uh, Saturday the 9th of uh, January, it's 9 o'clock and I'm at Ship Rock which is a couple hours outside of Jubail. Now, I think I'm at Ship Rock. <laughs> According to Google Maps I'm within 200 meters of it but there's nothing else besides this rock within 200 meters of my position but if you take a look around me take a look at these other Rocks just sitting around here, so if this isn't it, <laughs> it'll be one of these other ones and then I'll get to it. But there's a lot of tracks and stuff around here, quads have been out here. And this kind of looks like the picture, but not exactly, so... I guess we'll find out fairly quick. There's supposed to be a cave that goes down. So, if there's a cave, this is it. If not, it'll be one of the other ones. So I'll just walk around it. It's not that big. Actually, I can get on top of it fairly easily where I am now. If you look way off in the distance, there's standing water. It rained here a day or two ago and I just think that that's just very shallow standing water. Well, some camels have been up here fairly recently. Well, 
I think that that ship rock over there. <laughs> Why do I think that? Because it looks like a ship. So I think that's where I want to head. Well, I think I found it this time. <laughs> Google Maps isn't exactly precise. This is the closest feature to where it's putting me, but it's saying that Ship Rock is 100 meters from here, so I'm gonna walk around it and just see what I can see. But there's been a lot of activity here. There's been a few, quite a few campfires. There's quite a bit of footprints and stuff. So it, it does look promising anyway. Well, that's the next big, big rock over. And right now I'm on top of what I think is ship rock. But to tell the truth, look at that one. Well, tell me that doesn't look like a ship and there's a pile of rubbish all bundled up, which makes me think somebody picnicked there. So, I'm guessing that that is probably ship rock. It looks more like a ship than this one does. Long way down. Looking over there again with binoculars, there's right at the base of the rock, there's kind of a little cave and it looks like it goes down. And I notice a lot of water from here. I can see quite a few empty water bottles. So I'm gonna guess that is ship rock. One of the things about these features is I've seen pictures, but if you approach it from the opposite way or you know, from an angle from where the picture's taken. Sometimes it is really difficult to tell what is what, especially when you look around here, look at all these different features or different type, different rocks. So it's kind of hard at times to tell exactly what is what. Also, I would have expected there to be a number of groups out here. I didn't think I'd have the place to myself, so anyway, back to the car and let's move her. Yeah, little bug. See a lot of those here in the desert. I'm not, sure, not quite sure what they are, but they're everywhere. They don't bite or nothing. This looks like the place I just walked up to that little cave. And it looks like there's a crawl space that goes all the way under the rock. And I think it's the other side that goes down with a ladder. So I'm going to grab uh, some torches and use my GoPro for this until I get through and just see what it's like. <laughs> I'm on my hands and knees now. I can see light from across. not that far it's maybe 10 meters and I think this is the ladder right yes it is okay oh. Oh. okay A 
I'm going to assume this ladder is strong enough to hold me. It's going to be a bit difficult holding the camera. Let me just make sure it'll support me first. Seems to. <laughs> this would be a little bit easier if I didn't have the camera or if I had it attached to my head. right there with a couple of eggs in it. I'm guessing they're pigeons. Well, I really didn't do this the right way. I should have started from here to ensure how that this was secured. I just put my trust and belief that it was secured, which it is, but if it had broken and I'm all by myself, I would have oh, been in trouble. So there's my car down there. So I crawled from under to, I guess this is the middle because it's, uh, if you look around, it's not the end. So I crawled up from the middle. There's quite a few little cairns that people have built. Here's another access point, or what do you do? I don't know, blowhole. Oh, this one doesn't go down, it just goes a couple of meters. Some sort of initials, I guess, they've written something. Looks to me, I could be wrong, that the only way up and down 
at least the easy way, relatively easy, is to use that ladder. I pretty well rocked, walked around the whole rock. And I haven't seen any easy way to get up or down. Way over there, that rock right over there is the one where I first came to. And this isn't, from looking from there, <laughs> this, I didn't think this was a ship rock and it was so close, but it, as I say, it looks different from different angles. Jesus, those pigeons, they keep flying and scaring me. Well, it looks like I'll have to go down the way I came up, which means, I mean, I couldn't have checked out the integrity of this ladder to see how well it's stabilized before I came up because there's no other way up here that I can see. Anyway, should be a bit easier going down. Well, whew. is it going to be easier going down? Hard part is getting started. I'll just make sure I have a good handhold on something. It is more difficult going down, at least trying to hold the camera. There's those two eggs. Two things, this ladder is not for the faint-hearted and somebody who's not fairly strong and fairly agile, I would say. Okay, and there we go. Not really for the claustrophobic either.
To be quite honest, I shouldn't have done this alone. But what can you do when you live in a shoe? Okay, let's go walk around the base of it now. You can see the layers. It looks like a fairly solid layer. And then like a softer dirt. See? Solid. And then the friable stuff, the stuff that breaks up quite easily, then solid. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. This I'll just consider a reconnaissance day around Ship Rock. I am going to be back here possibly next week to uh, do an overnighter. I think there's lots of places around here that, uh, that you can just camp. And now that I see that I haven't seen any other people out here today, and that was my worry is there'd be people everywhere. So. I think I could quite easily find some privacy for uh I think I could quite easily find some privacy for camping. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and until I see you again, take care now. I think these camels are in the process of mating. <laughs> I'm glad they're running away from me. Oh, maybe they're fighting. <laughs> are they fighting or are they mating? Who can tell? Sometimes mating is pretty rough, isn't it? <laughs>